What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we finally got something out of that official Jeepers Creepers Reborn page after they've been silent. I thought they were dead <laughs> for nearly several months. So on October 23rd, we will be getting something exclusive related to the film. Now I can, I'll just go out and say, I don't think this exclusive news will be anything major. I've had like two days to sit on this. I don't think it's going to be anything major. Uh, what I think this will be, if you click on the website, because you see here in this image you have on your screen, it says 23rdday.com. You click on that website after going to that tweet if you want to. I'll actually leave a link to the website down in the description. If you go to that website, all you get is a site that looks very, I'll just say, ominous in its uh, nature. And you see what looks like an incomplete puzzle with just examining it though if you look in the background of what you can see you can you can obviously obviously see a crow which we know crows or have been associated with the creeper for all three movies and they're going to keep up that tradition with this one but it looks like what we're getting on october 23rd will be an official first poster for jeepers creepers reborn now the question mark on this is is that all you're going to be giving us? Because like, why, when they come around with this stuff, my my biggest gripe is, why do you come and go? And when you go, it's for this long, and then you come back and it's just a poster. I would hope that there's a lot more than just the poster, but along with the poster, hopefully the poster has some names listed on it, some big names on it. Maybe it has, uh, not big names, just any names reveal some of the cast members like the top the, the top uh three stars of your film maybe list uh sydney craven imran adams since we know they'll be playing the characters of chase and lane if gina phillips is in it i've talked to a lot of you on instagram about this already at this point don't even hide that use her to market this movie use her inclusion here to market the film there's no i would not save that for a surprise in theaters given just how just how I would say this movie is not looking like it will make a lot of money. <laughs> I'm just being honest. So I don't think you need to withhold any real major surprises that could help you out at the box office. Such as like Ray Wise being in it for a brief cameo appearance. Put his name in that poster. Put his name anywhere to hype up this movie. If he is back as Jagger, Jack Taggart Sr., Ray Wise should not be kept a secret, neither should Gina Phillips. If any returning stars are in this movie, I would not keep that a secret. Use them to market the movie. Use them to market the movie and draw attention to it. To hopefully uh, lend you some more success at the box office, because I don't think this movie will make that much money. But yeah, on October 23rd, what I guess we'll get is an official first look at the movie's poster. Hopefully on the poster, it'll be the Creeper himself. Now... I know what the fear is already. The fear is if the creepers on it, what will this monster look like? <laughs> uh, the Lizard Man, uh, the Walmart edition creeper. I would imagine that what we are about to see on this poster will be something that is a lot better compared to the, I'll just say, image without context that we've seen of the creeper, where we don't have the best. We, we're not seeing the finalized film version of the creeper we're seeing the creeper behind the scenes and the makeup of course doesn't have any added effects that they probably are going to add to it afterwards putting it in the proper lighting proper setting proper cinematography everything about what could help make this current creeper a lot scarier that's not currently present in this uh image that we've been seeing for him so hopefully if he's on the poster we get to see something that looks a little bit more done and well crafted and gets us more excited also hopefully the poster wouldn't be something that is a better look of the creeper than what we see in the film because i know they could also do that too they could go very they could do a very good job at convincing you this is what the creeper will look like by giving you a very good shot of him on the poster and then you get to the movie and it's completely different i'm just saying that because i've I know I've had some movie experiences where I felt like the, the look of a character on a poster was better than how they looked on screen. And that just has that just goes to show you how much power you have when you know how to use certain um, editing software, Photoshop, other things to try to enhance a look. <laughs> but uh, 
it seems like that's what we'll get on October 23rd. My only other hope would be that we get a cast lineup. And then, like I said before, if you have any major stars back from previous entries, don't hide them. Do not hide them. Just go ahead and announce that they're in it because that will just be more of a good thing for people to probably who aren't interested. You probably want to go out and see it if they even care to go see a fourth Jeepers Creepers movie at this stage in the game. Because remember, this franchise, if we're being honest, this was supposed to be a, a dead franchise by the time of... 2006 at one point then it was 2009 this franchise should be celebrating its 10 plus year anniversary of of a successful decent trilogy but of course many different uh hurdles kept us from getting that such as the fact of the history of victor salva and a lot of people not knowing about that history and then of course finding out that history you know this man doesn't deserve to be making movies like that anymore he doesn't deserve to be doing a lot of stuff that relates to filmmaking at all so with the whole october 23rd date the website last time i was on it was a very uh i would just say inaccurate in terms of like the countdown said zero so even when i clicked on it initially i kept refreshing it because i'm like is this website not done like they need to update the website i'm just saying that based off the last time i was on it maybe they have updated it because the countdown is completely off there actually is no countdown it just says zero so on october 23rd we're going to get the poster most likely again if you look at the details that you can see you can see the crows that we have seen from the creeper in the past associated with the creeper i'll just say in the past so i'm hoping that we get a cast lineup if it's a teaser the teaser should be of jack taggart jr not jr senior sitting in his chair in the barn looking at the creeper on the wall with the bat out of hell sign and then that's it that is the perfect teaser if you wanted to put out a short teaser i feel like that's something all of us would agree with if they don't show anything but that that'll be enough to get us on the edge of our seats anticipating the movie depending on how it even looks but we'll see what they show we'll see what they show ultimately i feel like this is just going to be a big poster and then that's it and then they'll disappear for like another six months before telling us hey tickets are on sale <laughs> But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for October 23rd? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.